And something you've never seen in Mario Brothers 3. Here we go, right here. So first thing you're going to notice right away is obviously the title screen is different with this ROM hack. Again, like I said, this is my ROM hack. I really like this title. This title was uh, made up by KP. He did a fantastic job. First thing we're going to do is we're going to press start and you guys are going to hear something very really cool when you press start. Oh yeah. Nice. All right. Second thing is custom music. Obviously, we got to have custom music in it. All right. Uh, third thing that you would notice is Mario comes from a little house right there. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so level one. Boom, Kaizo right off the start. <laughs> Kaizo right away. There's a Kaizo right there. Now you guys can see we got a death counter. So a lot of people when they first play this, they try really hard to, to shell jump over that wall. But in actuality, you can just jump over it. It's kind of like an homage to get you to test Take a nice easy path here. There we go. So now you guys are wondering, well, why is it called Mini Kaizo? And this is exactly why it's called Mini Kaizo. Because the levels are a lot shorter than normal. Which allows you to compact a couple hard, really hard levels in a string. So now I got a hammer. Now I move to the next level. This is probably one of my favorite levels. It's very fast paced. It's very enjoyable. Except for that. If you're too far to the right, you get brigged over. So there's a pipe right here that you can go down. <laughs> to your death. <laughs> yep, yeah, good old pipe. I, I've seen a couple people take that death pipe too. It's kind of funny. Alright, let's do the level though. It looks really cool when done properly. I put Kaizo's here so that when you get the hammer, you're locked in and you can't you can't break it. Oh, whoops. This level is much harder. It starts it starts kicking up gear. This turtle is like the biggest troll in the game. Very close. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I put a troll guy right there. Ooh, dude, so close. Right on. I really like that level. I put like a troll bouncy guy there just to like screw with you. It's hilarious. Yes, I put an auto scroller in. But this auto scroller is actually really good. Gotta watch out for the flying fish. Follow the coins. Oh, I fucked it up. Maybe I can wall jump. Ah! Oh, I saved it! Yes! Nice! You have to use that bouncy block guy. That that section's really cool. I'm sad we didn't get to use it. But that was awesome. Right on. So the scroll works out perfectly. Okay. How many levels in this? I don't know, like 50 or 60. Do you guys know this music? right that was contra that was super c battle music do you guys know the end fanfare right there fast resets is always nice in kaizo that's right nice now you got to get the boo ghost to get out of the way so that you can get past i really like that spot Different battle for this guy. Nothing too crazy. No off screen wand grab. Nice. World one is down. World one is down. Right on. So that's the first world. Not too bad. Pretty basic. Really fun, too. Really, really fun. Alright, for those of you guys who know French, you might want to write this down. I'm a big fan of the movie The Mummy.
Death is only the beginning. That's right. It says death is only the beginning. Yes. Next world. World 2 is my favorite world with music and design. Well, I don't know. World 6 is pretty good too. Alright, first level. Nice! Gotta go fast! Never rolly over 99, that's right. I love it. So water will slow down your turtle shells. Weird, right? Ah. Physics. Dude, I love that. That's a cool one. So this level has something interesting in it. I'm I'm doing full spoils for this hack, by the way. For anyone wondering, I'm doing full spoils. So this level... So there's something funny about this whole thing. But you want to know something very strange? Watch this. It's a troll. It's a troll to make you think that you need the star. You can't- you can't grab the star in the lava, you'll die. You're not protected in lava by the star. Right? So it's a troll. But what else though? Is the P-switch- the P-switch turns them off. But, you want to go this way. Because, there's a secret door. And something you've never seen in Mario Brothers 3. Here we go, right here. Secrets! Can you believe there are three flutes in the game? How many have you found? Well, I haven't found any yet. Original Mario 3 does not have secret paths. So here's an Hammer Brother battle. So this one is not like your original Hammer Brother battle. Run killer? No, there's there's a trick to this that I just don't know it. I just don't know it as all. Well. I'm trying to figure out what it is. There we go. Okay, I'll get it now, probably. So I have to, like, go out like this and then come back in, and then there it is, yeah. So yeah, there's a little trick. You don't have to kill all four of them. My- the intended way is for you to kill all four of them. But... I just- I just finished saying how, like, the intended way is having to kill all of them. Oh, so you have to get the bounce over the pit. You have to bounce on him to go over the pit. Alright. Or baby. I love that boss battle so much. Oh, no! I got my own Kaizo, dude. Nice, we in there. Ooh, this looks nice. Can't even do his own trick in his hack. Once in my lifetime, 
I would like to go to like a night dance club and they start rocking this beat out. You guys can totally figure out the code just by watching. Because we're in a tower, we gotta go up. Don't jump! I'm so scared of this guy, dude. So what's so what's some of the information we have, guys? And what's this? But how- well, I've already spoiled the one seeker for you. I'm, I'm giving you guys the whole game. I'm giving you guys the whole game today, so it's okay. Greetings. To tame the dog will not be easy. Stay low, left, right, left, right. It's a little difficult, but... Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Finally, there we go. All right, we made it. We made it. I don't fuck up. All right, we got this. Made it. Yeah. All right. So this this world is really cool because one. We souped up the boat, guys. We gave the boat a really, really good engine in this game, all right? This boat is fucking ready to go. All right. Not only that, but I've decided that Mario 3 ROM hacks have never had an open world concept. So you can do whatever levels you want in whatever order. The castle is simply blo blocked by the fortress and four hammers. Can you find the hammer? What are your odds? Apparently my odds are pretty good. <laughs> so then world three is the donut blocks. So I have to grab the orb without doing the donuts. The donuts. <sighs> that was close, man. I'm very good at this boss fight. I've, I've worked on this boss fight a lot. To make it work. Alright, this level's cool. We all, we're all we all gonna like this level. There's no way you guys can dislike this level. Nice! First try, bitch. First strike. Yeah, right in there. Nice, that's so hard. That's hard. We're doing the regress, guys. We're getting worse. There we go. Nice. Nice try, Thwomp. I know your tricks. Nice. Oh, I tried for the off-screen Mario. That's <laughs> so hard, man. Holy crap, man. This was before I played Dark Souls. Way before I played Dark Souls. Alright, World 4. <gasps> Mushroom House. Get out of <laughs> 
dude, every time. Every time I build up the confidence to go for him. I could have stayed on top. I should try to rolly. No, I just gotta get better, that's all. I'm glad it's taken me this long, because, like, who doesn't love an epic boss battle, right? Two. Three. Alright guys, what music is this? That's right, Kirby. Alright, what music's this, guys? <laughs> DuckTales. Jurassic Park. I love this world. I love the way this world looks. This is my this is my favorite world in the in the game for sure. Let's go. Nah. For some reason, a lack of two works. What's a good way to like? Lakitu's work kind of like boomerangs. See? And then he'll go left, and then he'll speed up to the right. Nice, we made it. Oh. Yeah, and they, yeah, they speed up depending on the distance and stuff. It's really weird how they work. Alright, this is my favorite level. I think it's this one, right? Level 2? Fuck yeah, look at this. Just to give you guys a taste of it. This is my favorite level. I put max speed. I put max speed on the Goomba shoe. Right? And with max speed, you're almost always guaranteed a good sub pixel. So this is what happens. Cheat. I don't I don't know what's going on, man. I think I'm not hitting the Goomba. I think I'm hitting the lava. I think, like, the lava's taking off my shoe instead of the Goomba. So I think I might be going too early there or something. I don't know. Finally! We did it! So the lava, the lava sprite doesn't actually hurt me. Only the top pixels of the lava sprite hurt you. Oh, we made it, guys. Oh, we made it. All right. Wait, there's a level 4 up there. How the hell do I get up there? What? I uh, I think if you play this hack on like something like I think the stream is just a little bit darker. The clouds are they're not that hard to see, but I think when I look at the stream playback, they're a little hard to see. Nice. There's a Kaizo there that I have to look out for. Yeah, we did it! 
Dude, our biggest enemy. The frig pipes, dude. The frig pipes. I love this section. It's so cool. I made it. Nice. And I made a very questionable sound there. You believe it or not, this is actually pretty difficult. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ugh. Oh, man. 1,000 and under to go head-to-head -head with the King of Darkland. Holding run on a lone bish will give you more power. Thanks, Peach. Thanks, Peach. This song is Dragon Ball Z 2. Genkaichi Frieza, only released in Japan for the NES. And this is the training part with Goku. Alright, so remember the little trial levels? Oh, you better come back here. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, yo, Pooh, what's going on, man? How's your day today? Hi, man. Heavy shredding, dude. There used to be a DBC game on the NES. Alright, next hand level. Remember, remember when I... Oh, I fucked myself there, so... Remember what I told you, the hand the hand traps are to make you get stuck, and they are there to not only just annoy you, but they're just little little trials. Yeah, okay, if you guys want to play the Dragon Ball Z game, it's like one of the best NES games ever created. It's an RPG of the Namek Saga from Dragon Ball Z, and it's called Genkaichi Frieza 2. I'm so scared right now. Oh my gosh, I made it. Ah, oh, thank God. Dude. Yo, the cheese! The cheese is real! Oh shit. Nice. Oh, I made it too! You guys never heard of it before? It was only released in Japan though, but you can get a, a ROM of it. Nice, okay, we made it. God tits. Welcome back for five months. Thank you. Alright, this level sucks. Hardest level in the game. God! I did! No! Yeah, there's only two auto scrollers in this level. Or in this world. Or in this game. Sorry. Yo, Sinar, welcome back, dude. 48 months. How you doing, man? You having a good day? Uh, who, who played the first world of this hack? I think the second world. Yes! Dude, this level's so hard, man. Oh! <laughs> Dude, this level's so hard, man. Alright, this is my favorite level, guys. Watch. Watch this level. I hope I do it. Nope, I already fucked it. Very time-based. You have to do it perfectly. Pikes. What the hell's a pike? Yeah, suicide pikes. Watch him. Sick! <laughs> I love that level so much. That's a fun level. <laughs> it's how is it making you know? Well, you guys are a bunch of babies. What the heck? Oh my god. This level's making me nauseous. 
I can't believe I made that. We got it though. It's over. It's over. We're good, guys. We're good. Nausea avoided. All right. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah. What song is this, guys? Why do I even need to ask you guys? See if I can, I don't even remember what to do. Okay, I remember. The cheese! The cheese, dude! Get in there! Yes! Dude, that's cheese. That's not, that is not how you're supposed to do that level. Are you guys ready? Great. I hope this doesn't take me too long. If you hit the coin block, you're good to go. position was gonna fuck me over there. Oh my god, that was so scary. That's like such a hard jump. We made it though. We made it. Alright, you guys ready? Boom. To break the final lock, I need the code. I don't have the code. Did you guys know that the secret message said seek throughout the lands to find the hidden code? You guys didn't pay attention. That's okay, I paid attention. Alright, what's the code guys? What is the code? A up, down up, A, A, down. A up, down up, A, A, down. No? Bowser's on crack. Watch my coin count, guys. Watch my coin count. Watch my coin count. So like I said, Bowser's not hard, but you know how, you know, you have to know how to beat him. If, okay, <laughs> if you don't have 99 coins, Bowser's health, like my power with the fireballs decreases, which obviously makes Bowser's health, you know, get higher. If you have zero coins, you have to shoot Bowser 255 times with the fireballs to kill him, if you have zero coins. So you need more power. Bowser is too powerful. You need more power with your coins. But thankfully you have the lone bush there. Was it 365 deaths? 
A year of deaths. The Lone Bush was your nickname in high school. Were you that guy who'd hide in, in random bushes? Spaghetti! I did the wrong warp to Bowser. Awesome hack match. Thanks a lot, guys. I worked really hard on that hack. I had a lot of fun with it. Let's see the bad ending. Oh, I have to die over a thousand times with the bad ending. So essentially what happens in the bad ending is that, like I said, the, the lock breaks and then when you go in that pipe, the game resets. 